Are you thinking of selling your home and looking for some tips on what to do to get your house ready before it hits the market? So stay tuned. Hello and welcome, Sabina with Silver International Realty, serving the Santa Rosa Beach, 30A and surrounding area in the beautiful Emerald Coast. What do you do when you sell your car? You get a detail because you know it makes a big difference, right? Uh, so what about when you get your house ready to put it on the market? You know, there's a lot of things you can do that will increase your bottom line. So listen to 10 tips that I always tell my sellers to do before we put their house on the market. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Over the last two years, sellers did not need to worry so much about getting their house perfect for um, putting it on the market because we had absolutely no inventory and multiple offers and buyers literally waived inspections, waived everything to get the house. But now with the market shifting again, it is even more important to put a little detail and work into your home before you put it on the market. So let's go and get started with tip number one. Hire a professional home inspector to come in, pre-inspect your home and go and, and do some of the minor repairs. You know, it will make a big difference. Maybe you need to caulk the bathroom. Maybe the AC needs to be cleaned. Um, you know, maybe there is something wrong with your electrical panel and you can get it fixed. Some of those repairs are very minor, but when you are as a buyer looking at this huge inspection report, you know, sometimes they get scared. So do some of those repairs upfront and I promise you it will save you money in the long run. Declutter your home. I know we all collect things from travels and gifts and things that have meaning to us, but sometimes it makes the rooms to appear smaller. So take a look at it. You know, have a friend walk through your home or a local realtor and give you some ideas what maybe to put away. Uh, I sometimes include my friend who is a local stager and decorator to come out and give us ideas on how to rearrange the furniture to make the rooms appear larger. Tip number three, depersonalize your home. Take all these beautiful pictures, pack them up, put them away, because guess what? Buyers feel like they're invading in your home because it makes it look like your home and they have a harder time visualizing themselves living in your home. So if you take those pictures down, put them on the box, it will save you later on when you're moving, you have less to pack. Tip number four, brighten up your home. Open these windows and blinds, maybe even change your light bulbs out. You know, sometimes we have yellow and white lights and they change the whole lighting of your home and that will also make a big difference. Tip number five, consider painting your home in a neutral color. This working with decorators, some of my favorite colors are Snowbound from Sherwin Williams, Alabaster and Agreeable Gray. What is your favorite color? I would love to hear it. Put it in the comment below. And don't forget to paint your baseboards and your trim in poor white so that everything looks clean and crisp. Tip number six, ask yourself, when was my home updated the last time? Are you having a new kitchen, new bathroom, new flooring? Well, a lot of that will determine how you price your property because it is my experience, most buyers want to have a move-in ready home that's updated especially now with rising interest rates, that's going to become even more important because they have no money to fix it up. So homes that are updated always sell for more and faster in this market. You don't necessarily always get the money back. So I always encourage my friends and buyers and sellers, go ahead and get that kitchen remodeled because when you are ready to sell it, you will get it back and in the meantime, get to enjoy a beautiful kitchen. Number seven, if you don't do anything, get your home deep cleaned. And I mean deep cleaned. Your refrigerator, your bathrooms, your baseboards, 
dust your ceiling fans, and give those windows a good clean. It will make a huge difference. Number eight, curb appeal. Your first impression is always so important. Get that pressure washer out. Get that driveway cleaned. Maybe slap some fresh paint on your front door. Maybe a new mailbox if it's falling apart. You know, when we live in a home for many years, sometimes we don't see these light, tiny little details and it really truly makes an impression. Just like when you meet a person for the first time, you get that first impression. Do you like that person? Do you not like it? And that's the same as a house. You look at the first house, you drive by, you walk in, and that first impression is so important. Tip number nine, make your house smell amazing. You know the double tree in Hilton when you walk in and you get those freshly baked cookies or all these hotel lobbies that have this amazing smell? Uh, yes, it does make a big difference. So think about how you can make your house smell wonderful. And number 10, if you are considering selling, start interviewing two or three agents and find out what their recommendations are. They look at houses all the time and they can do a quick walkthrough and give you some wonderful ideas. Of course, you know, if you don't want to include a realtor, maybe ask a couple of your friends to walk through because they're looking at your house in a very different point of view. Today, everything is about social media and having professional pictures and drone shots and videos, walkthroughs about your home. It is so important that you pay attention to all these details to make these pictures stand out. I hope you enjoyed these 10 tips on what to do on how to get your home ready. I'm also including a free seller guides, yes my friends, about 110 pages with tons of ideas and all you got to do is click on the link in my description and it will download to your email and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video, comment below, and what are you doing to get your house ready to put it on the market? Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, tschüss, until the next time.